This is a demo of using a super simple charge pump to light high voltage blue LEDs like this one from low voltage coin cells using an at tiny 85 in this case, but you can use almost any chip that has a GPIO port that you can oscillate. So to start with, you're gonna need a coin cell and I found that a really good place to get dead coin cells is from old cube worlds and you can get these on eBay, but the demo will work um, with new fresh coin cells also, it just won't be as impressive. This coin cell, let's make sure that it's dead, dead. So if we test its voltage, it's at 2.6 volts. So it's a little stunned, but not completely dead, but 2.6 volts is still much, much lower than the voltage needed to light a blue LED. This one needs 3.7 volts. So if we put this coin cell in there, and just to show a red LED is very easy to light. They usually have a forward voltage of only maybe 1.8 volts. So you can see that on 2.6 volts, it glows nicely. If we take our blue LED though, oh, this is just driven directly off of the battery. So the battery is going up here to the positive rail and to the negative rail, and then this LED is connected directly between the two rails. If we take our blue LED with its much higher voltage, and we try and put it in that same circuit, driving it directly from the coin cell, you'll see we get nothing, not enough voltage to light it up. But if we instead connect it to this charge pump here, it lights right up. So what's happening here is that the at tiny is oscillating its pin five. There's a little extremely short program. Oops, I broke one of the connections there. Um, that oscillates that pin and it's blinking just so that we know that it's running. As that pin oscillates, it's pushing charge into this capacitor, which is pushing charge through that diode. When it goes to low, it's sucking charge back that way, which brings this pin here below zero volts, down to about negative one volts. When you add that negative one volts to the 2.6 volts on the positive rail, you now have 3.6 approximately volts across the LED, which is enough to light it up. So that's the example. Uh, the parts don't really matter. This diode is just a Radio Shack diode that I found. Uh, it'll work better with a Shockey diode. You'll be able to run the battery to a lower voltage and still get the blue to light up, but any diode pretty much will work. This capacitor is a 100 nanofarad. The capacitor also doesn't matter that much. You can use uh, a 1 UF down to 50 picos. You just have to oscillate faster if you have a smaller capacitor. The end.